The Hidden Palace Zone. Uh, who knew that this was hiding under a volcano? Or in a volcano? Near a volcano? Adjacent to a volcano? I, bet, I mean... Is it a good place to build? If you're trying to... I guess it depends whether your goal is hidden or palace. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a shield or something. We can't. So... I'm just gonna... Were we a different character, we could get just an actual shield from an item box, but... We have a boss battle here. Right here. We get to fight Knuckles for the first time, actually. His shoes are not the right color. Or they're kind of the right color. Ah, and he will actually punch you if you get too close, so don't, uh... Let that happen. You gotta try to hit him in the feet when he's doing his glide move. And if you can get him in a cycle here, then... We did it! Alright, so why was Knuckles here? Let's have some story-esque things. Uh, it seems that uh, Knuckles doesn't like that uh, Robotnik is stealing the Master Emerald. So let's try to get eight hits on him before we're too late. Six, seven, eight. Well... Okay. Yes, let's um, th think about it. We're friends now. And Knuckles is a bit exhausted, but we can help, right? You'll be fine. Okay, well, uh, the Death Egg was... It couldn't launch properly from a uh, dedicated base, but from a volcano, sure. Why not? Alright, so let's go and see if we can't get to that Death Egg, shall we? This right here is the Egg Robo. Uh, we'll see more of... Uh, them in the uh, other story. The other one being Knuckles. Let's just be a uh, stand on a pedestal here. Why not? Ah! Alright. A lot of careful... This is meant to be like your penultimate stage, your uh, Wing Fortress, so to speak. Um, even though Wing Fortress was kind of the last stage, technically, because of the Death Egg in the first game. But here we go. Uh, so that's that's not Robotnik. That's a uh, metallic Sonic-esque creature. And uh, let's show off how this battle can be easier. So even in his very, like, third game, uh, Sonic is already appealing to the nostalgia receptors of the brain. Because that was very clearly the boss battle from Green Hill Zone in the very first game, so... I don't know whether this is the right direction. Well, it's, it is the right direction. I don't know if it's the correct direction. Haha -ha joke. Let's be careful, shall we? Alright, keep moving. Ah, yes. And another memorable uh, boss here is... Um, There we go. 
<laughs> the Metropolis Zone boss, which is made so much easier uh, with the Sonic Flash Dash attack. It's in the manual, the name of the attack. It's probably also in uh, every Sonic fan site ever created. Oh, good thing those clouds were there, or else I would have had to redo some of the level and grumbled about it uh, for a brief uh, hot second. A brief hot second. We're doing some real good acrobatics here. I'm very proud of uh, me. Nope, more level. I thought we were getting to the next boss. Oh, we saved the birds. Somebody's got to think about the birds. Okay. We're going this way, sure, whatever. Up. Excuse me, we were using that. Okay, so Metal Sonic. We fought... Uh, his predecessor, the Silver Metal Sonic. Uh, which is... He's just another Metal Sonic, but uh, the fan... Fans and their fanon. Alright, so he doesn't always do that uh, backing up uh, move. He'll usually actually just... Um, eight hits and he's done. Well, done-ish. We didn't quite destroy him like we do with other robots, but... We'll just let the melting tower uh, destroy him. And whereas in the last game we had to use a plane to get up to the Death Egg, we can just run this time. It's super convenient. Any moment now. That's definitely how gravity works. <laughs> 